Did Chelsea just come back to win? And not just by any margin. Four goals. Ah. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel from the title of the video you can see that against the match reaction of um the Burnley versus chelsea game that we won for one well i didn't watch most of the game so like this is gonna be a very short one because i don't have anything to rant about just ecstatic that we won period and i almost predicted it to be three one but i went to two one just because i was like well i've never not never but like in a while we have not scored four goals or three goals in a match that kind of thing so i was like now nah, let me not go with three one let me be safe with two one but boy was i wrong i need to have more faith in them you know um but yeah you know the five categories or four categories depending on how much i can remember but the five or four categories that we're going to use to like rate the game okay which is the lineup the first 15 minutes of the first and second half goals subs and things I like that it's like like things I notice that I'm happy about and things that I want us to change. So the first one is the lineup. I will have the lineup on the screen just so that we can you you can see it while I'm talking. Um so obviously I was happy with it to be honest. I before the the game, the lineup for me was like an eight point five or ten. Like I had no complaints because like um I was worried because I didn't know who he would play better Jackson or Borja and I was not mad by seeing Borja start over Jackson just because of what um, Borja did in the previous match against Fulham so like I was like at least rewarding him for that and also trying to get him up to speed with match fitness and things like that but yeah um, so I was happy with that um, Cruella obviously continued starting um, over Martin and because Augusto is still serving his match ban, which I think is this is the last one. Uh, who, who else? Like Silva, Colville, Diasi, regular back four. Um, Enzo, Caicedo, Palmer, Galga, Sterling, if I'm to be correct. So I was okay with everybody, to be honest. I was okay with everything. But then uh, as the game progressed, because me, I slept through the first 30 minutes. Like, slept through it like a baby i woke up i was like shit sorry my language but yeah i was like damn um but yeah when i, I woke up i saw people on twitter like not being happy about the game saying that like kukrela and Kowo were struggling and things like that and i didn't see bonley's goal but people were like it was a defensive mess from everybody involved so yeah I'm even like watching like the replay, the highlights here, but obviously you can't see that. But yeah, during the match, the lineup for me was like a a 7.5, just because like he didn't change much, but was able to come back even before like he made more subs. Do you, do you feel me? But yeah, so the first 15 and first 15 minutes of the second half i don't have much to say about both just because like i didn't really watch them i didn't really watch them but i feel like we would definitely improved in the first 15 minutes of the second half and why i do, i read second 15 minutes of um uh, of the second half more than the first half is because we considered a goal in the first 15 minutes in the 15th minutes of the first half so i was just like ah like jonathan so just just because of that and then we we're able to score a goal maybe like the first 20 minutes of the second half also so i was just like like we we did way better in the second half like he made whether i shouted on them or he made changes i'm not sure if jackson came on methy after the half time or it took a few minutes after like the half time or a few minutes into the second half i don't know sure so i can't read the two of them i really can't because like I don't really have, I will not sit here and lie to you like I watched it and I don't want to give you other people's opinion. Like I'm only giving my opinion. So yeah, as far as we won, 4-1, I'm cool. And all the goals were nice. Obviously the first goal was a bit 
wishy-washy because like it was like it just a chance go because like he hit the Burnley players like lap or tie and like he went over their keeper and then it was a goal i was happy for that i was just like worried that ah, if this how we scored the first goal can we get a second or a third that kind of thing but we're able to second goal was as we're going into goals now goal section um the uh second goal was palmer's penalty because i don't remember who the um fouled i think it was telling it looked like sterling if i'm wrong i also said it on the screen um it looked like sterling was the one that was fouled and then palmer which i was surprised palmer took the penalty i thought it would be like jackson or even sterling that would take the pen but like i was happy that palmer took it maybe they just wanted him to get his first goal or something and he took the penalty very very well very professional you know the keeper went the other way the ball went this way and like it was a goal i was happy everybody was happy i was like okay okay can we hold on to 2-1 as well right. then just without knowing it not too long after that uh maybe like 10 minutes after that jackson scored lovely 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 i think was it jackson no no, it was Sterling. Sterling's goal was the one where, like, Caicedo, like, collected the ball. Then um, Galga got the ball, made the pass to Sterling on the left. And then Sterling fired the shot. It was almost offside, but it wasn't. We got the goal. That was goal number three. Amazing, amazing. Um, Palmer had a goal and an assist. Sterling had a goal and an assist. Wow, yeah. Um, then Jack Seversey came and scored. I don't know who who assisted Jackson's goal. I also said that on the screen. But racing all those goals were so nice from us. Like maybe besides goal number one. Even then, so I still give Sterling credit for still even trying. Even when it wasn't looking like we were making um, way into their defense. Into Bolly's defense. So like those four goals for me over 10 are like an 8. 8.5 or 10 amazing amazing goals and because we scored four goals in a match i can't remember maybe the last time we did that was maybe against like our champions league group stages and that was like what last year or something yeah the subs i will also insert them on the screen um i know that Broja came off for jackson I think Palmer went off for Martin. But I know Jackson Martin came on for sure. Hmm. I know Stalin also went off. I was trying to say that on screen. I'm just trying to remember because like I didn't have you written down. So that's why like I am also guessing. But like those uh modric i think sterling went off for modric but yeah i think that's the third sub but i read those subs like a seven over ten because like when modric came on we we're still faster we still create chances jackson could have scored a second goal if he didn't like try to like play it back for somebody and things like that like if he had tried to shoot or something maybe it have hit somebody or maybe it have gone in or maybe it have gotten us a penalty something anything but like yeah so like Mojik wasn't terrible when he came on you know i understood why maybe he didn't start him maybe of all the other players that kind of had injury Mojik seemed like maybe the one with the most risk that's why maybe he played him with less minutes i wish i saw um um, Madu AK, but obviously he didn't just because I feel like you had he would add hmm, are you right? I thought that you had more dynamic, <laughs> you had more like what speed, like to our game, but yeah. So, overall, the game was amazing. I enjoyed it. The few minutes that I was able to watch, I think I watched it overall like 14 minutes, and those 14 minutes I enjoyed it. I was happy, like, I was just like. Wow, I'm enjoying a Chelsea game, which I've not done in a while. These past three games, like, I've been good. I've been on, like, some some high places. <laughs> but, yeah, 
and I'm so sad that like now we're going to internship, but even lost our lab, like thank God, like I, I'll take a break from there. But now that we're winning, I just pray that everybody goes to the international break and come back without injury and then we can keep it rolling because with James to be back, Kanye is back. Um yeah. I think but your show too is back. So like while while getting back to our rhythm, I were ten on the table. First time we have been on the table this is last season. obviously this season we started like in the first half but came down but yeah like 10 amazing just behind Manu so yeah who also came back to me surprisingly I was not exactly happy but I was also relieved for Ten Hag because like they would have shouted his name cried this whole weekend but yeah this is me just ranting my likes and dislikes i don't like i'm just like happy we won and happy we score four goals and happy that like our attacking um players are the ones on the score line sterling palmer jackson and all of that right i'm happy that our attacking are the ones on the score line with sterling palmer jackson yeah is a happy 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 day dislikes I don't think I have dislikes because I didn't watch the game enough to say I will have dislikes. And I don't want to say other people's dislikes here. But yeah, um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We had 200 plus followers. No, 200 plus subscribers. You need to add more for me, you know. Support your girl, you know, Chelsea fans and all that. And even if you're not a Chelsea fan, like, still support. Like, yeah. I have exciting more content coming up just keep a lookout you know keep a lookout but yeah thank you for watching guys bye